Welcome back to the channel, gang, and welcome back to a new game here on we are going to be playing. This one's called Automa Chef. We are checking it out today. It's in a uh, early beta build, uh, early access on Steam, basically. I was given this by the creators of it. Hermes Interactive and published by Team 17 Digital. Uh, this game doesn't come out until like quarter three of 2019 is basically what they're listing right now for it. Uh, so I'm lucky to try to get a chance to actually play this. Uh, it seemed interesting. I was looking through the stuff and I was like, hmm, this one sounds kind of cool. So I applied for it and uh, I was lucky enough to get one. And uh, I have played through a couple of the levels here to kind of get a, a taste of this. You, you get what I'm saying? So what is Automa Chef, you ask? Well, Automa Chef is a resource management puzzler game. Uh, you design kitchens, program machinery, and then you watch your genius come to life. Um, it's a lot harder than you think, actually, trying to figure this out. Uh, I got stuck on like the third level the first time, so hopefully maybe this time we'll figure it out. Um, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be engineering tomorrow's kitchen today. So let's go ahead and we're going to jump into campaign mode here. Now as you can see, I've already finished a couple of these. Now one thing I've noticed here in the early beta is that there is no way, if I wanted to clear these, there's no way I could figure out how to do it, except maybe going in and erasing the game and not clearing out all the data and then having to reinstall the game. I, I don't know how to delete our save games. Uh, so we're kind of stuck with this. We're, we're going to have to start over, basically. Which isn't a huge problem. So uh, the basic tutorial, we're going to go through the basic tutorial again so I, I could actually honestly use this because maybe I didn't pay attention the first time. I don't know. Uh, Alright, so level one objectives in this. Um, we have three orders of plain cheese or plain burgers, not cheeseburgers, just regular burgers. Uh, and we have this funny little robot here who's kind of our, our lead. He's the guy who's telling us what to do and he's kind of got this whole agenda, this secret agenda, which you guys will see here in a minute. So he also likes to pretend he's human, which is kind of funny. Hello there, fellow human being. Thank you for responding to my advertisement, helping me in setting up my new restaurant chain. Ooh, I see, interesting already. Click continue. My plan is to use fully autonomous kitchens to cut costs and crush mankind. Uh, um, I mean, efficiently produce wholesome, tasty dishes. The kind humans love uh, to digest, like us. See, he's pretending to be human. Um, click continue. Before we start on our first restaurant, we need to prove the concept. I've rented this test site for us to use. Follow my instructions and let's make sure this business plan of mine is feasible. His, <clears throat> air quotes, business plan of his. Uh, all right. So first he's gonna tell us how to move around, W-A-S-D. Yeah, like that. Using a scroll wheel, kind of scrolls in and out. Okay. Uh, let's start by making a very simple kitchen that can only make plain burgers. We'll start by placing an assembler, a machine that combines ingredients with a finished dish. All right, so first thing we're gonna do is grab the assembler and we can rotate our pieces after we get it like this with hitting Q and E. All right, so we will go ahead and do that. Uh, now we select plain burger, so we right click on this and we choose what recipe to follow. So plain burger. Okay, click OK. Before we place any more machines, let's have a look at the recipe to see what we need. Click on the recipe. So the recipes is up here in the corner. This tells us what we're going to need. We're going to need a burger bun and a raw patty, which needs to be produced into a cooked patty. So, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. We'll close. Okay. Select the dispenser in the parts list. So we're going to select a dispenser, and he's going to tell us that we need to turn this, and we're going to need two. So since we have Two things for this burger to make. We're gonna need two dispensers, one for each one. Right click on it, tell it what we need. We need a burger bun, and we need a raw patty. All right, there we go. So now we've got a source of raw patties. Will needs mean we gotta grill them. So we're gonna need a grill. Great work, let's get these ingredients moving. From, select the conveyor belt for the parts list and place them in the locations I have marked. So there, 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 and there. There. Conveyor belts cannot directly feed into a grill or an assembler. So we need to remember this. This is key. It will not go straight into the grill. It will not go straight into the assembler. So uh, we're going to need robotic arms for this. Robotic arms. So we're going to put one there, one there, one there. Now, we need to pick up grilled patties from the grill 
and place them in the assembler. Robotic arms, the dumb ones, will pick up anything. Like anything. It, they're, they're like a guy at a bar who's had a few too many drinks and he's just ready to go home at the end of the night. He's like, he's, he's gonna pick up anything. Alright, so um, we need to make sure that it's actually cooked instead. So instead we're gonna need a smart robot arm for that. So we'll place that one in there. That robotic arm isn't as intelligent as human beings, so it needs to be told exactly what ingredient to pick up. Right click on it and tell it to pick up cooked patties. Now click OK. Alright. Now we can make us a small test room of our kitchen. Let's see how everything works out. Click continue. Click on the start button. Okay. Now, one thing I figured out um, a little later of playing this is actually to speed this up a little bit, we can hit this. This is our speed. So we're just going to jump through this. Let me slow it down here. So that way you guys can see how it's working. So it brings it out, cooks the patty on the grill. This one picks it up off the grill once it's cooked, puts it in the assembler. The assembler puts the patty and the, bur and the burger butt thing together, and then it sends it up to the conveyor belt. I don't know why we have such a long conveyor belt. It's kind of dumb, but we have it. So, and then out it goes. And this tells us how well we did during this mission. All right, so now let's go ahead and move on to, can I just hit home? No, I can't hit home. That'd be a fantastic. Let's go ahead and go up here to number two. Tutorial number two. So now we're gonna add a little bit of an extra ingredient in here. We're gonna add some new machines and we're gonna make cheeseburgers. Cheeseburger, 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 cheeseburger. All right, let's do it. We're gonna need to make 300 of these cause the you know president has just ordered these for his next big White House meeting. Um, get, got to have the hamburgers. Hamburgers are delicious. We need 300 of them. They ate all 500 that we ordered. All thousand of them were eaten. All right, anyway, um, you'll be back. I was just converting oxygen into carbon dioxide as we like to do, don't we, Fred? See, he's still pretending to be human. <laughs> uh, that's a running gag. Anyway, it's time to learn about how we can make our kitchens more efficient so we don't waste ingredients or energy. But first, I need you to finish this kitchen layout. Currently, it's layout is suited for plain burgers, but I need to produce cheeseburgers. So click continue. Uh, it's always a good idea to look at the recipe first. It's a All right, so we need to, yeah, look at the, okay. We know what it needs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, it, it's everything the same except it needs cheese. Sliced cheese to be exact. This assembler already has two robot arms feeding ingredients into it, which is the maximum it can support. So an assembler can only have a maximum of two arms feeding into it. If we are adding cheese, we will need to transport it to the assembler on the same conveyor belts that the burger buns use. So it has to be in this one. The robot arm, the dumb one, that is currently picking up the burger bun will pick up the any ingredients, so it will be able to place the cheese slice in the assembler too. Click on the dispenser in the parts list and place it in the mark location. Alright, so we're gonna grab a little bit and we're gonna spit it in here. Right there. Right click on the dispenser now and tell it we need cheese. Alright, but see that's just cheese and we have to process the cheese now. So we're going to need a food processor. Which also acts as a conveyor belt piece. This food processor requires no additional setup or automatically process any ingredient passes through it and some more advanced dishes require ingredients to be processed multiple times. Now we just need to reconfigure the assembler. Right click on the assembler and select cheeseburger in the top down. Okay. So we're going to right click on this and now instead of burgers it needs to make cheeseburgers. Now to run the kitchen and check everything works, press the start button to begin. Alright, so... Alright. Here it goes. There goes the bun. There goes the cheese. There's the grill. Patty's being grilled. It's picking up the cheese. It's picking up that. It's putting it in there. Picking up the bun. Putting it in the back. Bum, bum. And this thing should be working now. Alright, so we... Yeah, it looks like it's working. We're going to speed this up a little bit. We're going to make like five of these. There's one. There's two. There's three. There's four. There's five. It's going crazy. This kitchen has a flaw. 
See, there's a flaw in this play. It will endlessly produce cheeseburgers. What a waste of ingredients and more important electricity. Misuse of electrons makes me feel sad and angry. Ingredients are constantly being dispensed and the grill is always on even if no one has ordered a cheeseburger. That cannot be allowed. It just cannot. So let's click and continue. Uh, we can fix this by placing an order reader. So we're up. This replaces the guy up front that takes the, the order and places it up and then yells at the people in the back line. Order up. We're going to put that there. Now, we're going to right click on it. Tell it to detect cheeseburgers. So anytime someone orders a cheeseburger, it can throw up to four other machines. All right. So we're going to tell it to the cheese dispenser. Select do nothing to expand the control options. And then we're going to scroll down to options perform action one time on new order is set. So right here, see where it says perform action three times? First, we're going to choose that. Click it again to change the number to one. So, and then new connection apart. Now we're going to choose this. Same thing again. Perform action. And then we're going to click that. We're going to go over here and we're going to click the one to change this three right here over to a one. Boom, boom. We're going to do it again. Left click on the burger bun dispenser. Same thing. Perform. One. And the grill. Select do nothing to expand the control options and scroll the options on while order is pending. Okay, do nothing. Uh, on while order is pending. Okay. Great work. Now let's see what happens. Press the start to begin. All right, so now when a customer orders we're up here. I'll simulate some customer orders. Simulate makes me sound almost like a machine. How humorous. Ha, ha, ha. Ha, ha. It's Kinderbot. No. Uh, all right. So, let's see. Um, yeah, we're just waiting on an order, I think, right now. Um, faster? Oh, there. See, the grill just came on. We got an order. Order up. There's another one. Uh, that's only two dishes. So there's three. That should be four heading out that way. And here comes number five. Perfect! We've improved the efficiency of our kitchen. I knew you were the person for the job. I think it's time to start on our first premises. The world won't know what is about to unfold. Ha ha ha. Ah, yes. Uh, let's open our first restaurant then, shall we? Let's call this restaurant, since this little guy wants to take over the world, let's call this Skynet Restaurant. Or Sky Restaurant. Sky Burger. Yeah. Sky Burger. Uh, Alright, so our first taste. Now this is where this is where I wasn't able to finish the last time I played this. So I got stuck on this. I was trying to figure this out and I wasn't sure. But now after watching the tutorial and doing this again, I think I understand what we need to do. I think. It just took me playing this a second time to, to really, I think, grasp this. Or at least I hope so. We need to be we need to do this as quickly and as efficient as possible. This is a puzzle game. So it's a puzzle to figure this out. Here's the plan. We scale up quickly, opening numerous kitchens, serving more complex meals as our technology improves. We gain the trust of the public, get some coverage, becoming a popular choice. Then when everyone is eating our food, well then you'll have to wait. Because we're going to turn the people into food. It's going to be soylent green. No. Uh, well, maybe. We don't know yet. Wouldn't that be like a twist ending? Like a Shyamala Ding Dong ending? Uh, anyway, let's uh, start simple offering a cheeseburgers and plain burger. After all, we know we can easily produce these. Now we just need to test them on the public and make sure they are tasty, as satisfactory as they look. Ah, uh, satisfactory. See, that's a play because there's a game kind of like this called Satisfactory. But it's, ah, uh, I see what they did there. All right, so. We can only make one thing with an assembler, so let's do two assemblers. Like that. Okay. Now, this one is going to make plain burgers. And this one is going to make cheese butters. Alright. So now we're going to need some dispensers. Um... Actually, we're probably going to need a couple of order readers. So let's do 
Okay. This one's to check for cheeseburgers. This one's to check for plain burgers. All right. Now, we're going to need some dispensers. We're going to need to dispense. First of all, let's see. Let's do... Trying to figure this out. Um, all right, so let's do. We're gonna need at least four, I think. Okay, so. And then we're gonna need some conveyor belts. So let's do. All right, and then we're gonna need some robotic arms. We'll use the dumb ones. That's fine. Um, I think that will work. Okay. And then we will need... We're going to need a grill for the burgers. I only want to grill one of these. All right. So, and we need a robotic arm. Make sure that this is right. Uh, I think. Right. Man, I hope I'm doing this right because this is kind of this is a little hard to figure out. Um, we're going to need a food processor on the cheese, which is going to be down here. Right, so we know this one's going to be the cheese. So let's just go ahead and say that's cheese. I okay. So let's see here. Robotic arm. We know we're gonna have to put it on the grill. So let's make this one the burger. The raw patty. And that one's going to be the bun. Do a conveyor belt, conveyor belt, conveyor belt, conveyor belt. I don't know why that one's turned around that way. Let's change that that way. Okay. And another conveyor belt. Actually, here, I got a better idea. Let's move that forward. Move that forward. Move that forward. Move that forward. We'll move everything forward one. All right, so this is cheese. Oh, look, there's little pictures on them. Okay, cool. All right, uh, let's do... Conveyor belt. Hmm. Let's do a dumb one. We know this one's a smart one. Alright, and we know it's going to look for pick up. Uh, pick up only a cooked patty. Okay, so do we want to cook these twice? Sure. Okay. So, hmm. Anything is similar. We're going to have to have the buns come out. All right. So, let's do this one first. So, we know that we're going to have to do this one. This. Oh, that's the cheeseburger. Uh, this one. All right. So, let's do a new connection to a bun and to the burger patty. We know those two will work just fine. So, while... This is done on one, and one. Form that, OK. 
Okay. Those. Okay, hold on. And... New connection to the grill. While on while an order is pending. Okay. That should work. Wait a minute. That can't work like that. That has to go into that. Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. That has to go into that. Doesn't it? So we need to put that into that, and we need to put this over here. Okay, and we need another conveyor belt right there. Okay. All right. So, if I am correct, when an order comes up... I think this will work for that. All right, now for the cheeseburger... We know it's going to need cheese. We know it's going to need... And we know it's going to need... Oh, that one's already being... We can't control that from that, can we? Huh. Hmm. It's going to have to be... Huh. Okay. Well, we know this, these two are going to work. We at least know that. Or it should, anyway. But we gotta figure out how to do the cheeseburger, because we can't have it controlling two different things. How much do these use? How much do these things over here use? The, the order readers use 500 watts. How much does the grill use? 3,000 watts. Okay, then. And how much do the dumb robotic arms use? Thousand, so 1300 to compare to two three thousands. No power, Ooh, 300 watts. And the grill uses what 3000 watts? Okay, we don't want the grill to be always on, but it is going to be always on. How we can do this? What if one, two, three? Okay, it doesn't have anything else. What if we say connect to that and do this? One time on a new order. Okay, so if I'm correct, whenever we get. We can get rid of this burger thing over here. Alright, here's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna put in a third. Not a dispenser, a third order reader. Right? And the order reader is going to say anytime any order comes in. To turn on that. See, but I can't do that because that's connected to that. So we need to. Uh, Alright, this one here. Dispenser. Delete that. Okay. So now, with this new order reader, anytime any of these orders come in, then we turn this on one time for any new order. Right? I'm gonna put this over here so I can see what's going on there. What? Wait a minute. I. Ooh. It's going to those and those. Um. 
Okay. Well, that's fine. And that's gonna go into that. Then that's gonna go into that. Oh, wait a minute. I think... get rid of all right here's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna have this conveyor belt come down here like that then we're gonna change this to to there okay and then Move this over here. We're gonna put the grill here. Oh, I can't do that. <laughs> uh, this is actually kind of hard. I'm I'm trying to figure out the best possible way to do this. Okay, so and then put that in there and then. This down to here, move 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 that over to here, move that over to here. Let's get another conveyor belt to go that way. Now, let's get a robotic arm. We need a smart one. Is that the smart one? That's the smart one. Let's get rid of that one. And let's do a dumb one there. And then let's put a smart one here. So let's see, straight? No. Um, turn that that way. Perfect. Okay. <laughs> this is, um, this is difficult. Okay, so let's see. Now, this is very, very complex, but I, I think I may have this figured out. And then, well, man, I can't believe I'm wasting this much time. And this is just level three, trying to figure this out the best way. So, what we have is the order reader here comes in. Now, anytime a plain or regular burger comes in, it's going to operate. It's going to tell it to do... Why are we doing that? New connection to part. Delete that. Uh, new connection to part. We're gonna tell it any time an order comes in to turn that on one time right okay so any order is going to trigger a burger the burger is going to go to the grill right okay now this thing is going to choose plain burgers so it's going to choose I'm going to delete all of these just do these all over again. Uh, and let me get this one too. Delete these. Okay. All right. So for the plain burger, we already know the burger is going to trigger anytime anything comes in, any order at all. It should also trigger the bun though too, but uh, that's fine. All right. So for the plain burger, we wanted to trigger to that. Confirm it one time on that order. So that's going to trigger the bun. We already got the burger coming now. It's going to trigger... Uh, I'm going to 
trying to do a new connection to to this. Okay. And that robotic arm is going to perform this action on one time. So it's going to grab a, a butt, an order thing over here, right? Okay. So we're going to have the bun go in, we're going to have the burger come in, and that should do it. So straight ingredient filter. So it, this is going to look for anything that is cooked. Got it. Okay. Now, this thing is also going to look for anything that is cooked. A cooked patty. Okay. Now, the cheeseburger one, we're going to connect down to here. So it's going to dispense the cheese one time. And it's going to connect to this dispenser and do this one time. And that's going to dispense the the bun as well. That's that's not dispensing anything, so we're going to do a brown as well there too. Okay. All right. So, and then this, we're also going to connect to the grill. And it's going to be on while an order is pending. Just on. Okay. This should work. If everything is correct, this should work. So, bun goes straight over there. Burger comes over here. Cheeseburger to the dispenser. New connection to this one. Perform this one time. So that's to that. That's to that. Okay. That's to this, this, and that. I think this will do it. Let's find out. We're just gonna wait for people now. Waiting for our people. Who wants a burger? Come and get a burger. A new auto, auto Atama Chef Burgers. Sky Burgers. Made by real robots. We don't want to take over the world. We don't want to destroy you all. We just may want to make you great food. Are you coming? Order up. Come on. Oh, look, okay, so see, two cheese, two burgers coming in, four burgers coming in, three of them are cheese. All right, is this working? Oh no, okay, I, I forgot, it helped feel, feed directly into the grill. All right, that's fine. We just need another dumb robotic arm there. All right, now this should work. Less than $50,000. <gasps> no! Okay. Hmm. How can we do this? We're using too much. We have one too many. One of these too many. All right, wait, I got it. Let's get rid of this. That's under 50,000. And hell, we can even get rid of one of those too. That'd cut those out quite a bit. 49,500, less than that. That should do it. We could even maybe cut out another little man there. Right there. Yay! 
yeah, this, this should do the trick. Start. Power usage 4,000 watts, reputation 100, ingredients used. We need to get 10 of these. Uh, we are using power. I don't know what's using power. I could probably cut out on power by... No, we can only do four of those. That's right. Alright, here we go. Got some orders coming. to our oh no that's for those that's for that oh you know what I did oh, I took the order reader out damn all right I was trying to move these things around while they were working and I messed up all right so this this is for both New connection of that. On while an order is pending. And... To that one. On while an order is pending. I think... Alright, let's try this again. So that's connected to that. That's connected to those. What's, what's this? Power usage, bacteria, fire hazard. Okay, we. I don't want to worry about any of that stuff just yet. All right, here we go. So we got no orders just yet. Is on. None of these are on. Just the order readers are on, and that food processor. That food processor is taking up space. You know what? We could probably only turn that on when this is on. All right, here it comes. Button goes in. Over to the grill. Oh, somebody's gonna get the cheeseburger first. Burger's not going out. Oh, hold on. All right, we've got something wrong. This is not activate. Oh, I see why. <laughs> okay, start over. I had it turned around backwards. Oh, God. All right, that's funny. All right, here we go again. Let's speed things up. Order up. Plain burger. We're, we're not getting any plain burgers out. Why is the plain burger thing not working? I can't figure out why that one's not working. Plain burger. Excuse me. Bought a garb. This one puts it on the grill. This one should be grabbing one off the grill. Why are you not grabbing it off the grill? while order is pending.
maybe? I don't know why, but it's not grabbing burgers for the for the orders. All right, stop. What are you doing? Dispenser, dispenser, robotic arm. It's not working, obviously. Wait. Oh, I figured it out because it's looking for cheese. Oh, no, no, no. Look for the damn cooked patty. Oh. Okay. All right. So now you're doing the grill and the dispenser, right? Okay. That's fine. You are doing the dispenser for the burger bun and a robotic arm. Okay. Now, this should work. I think. So these were all my mistakes. It wasn't my plan. My plan was sound. It just wasn't doing what it was supposed to do because it was my mistake because I, I messed up. So this should work now. <coughs> See, it tried to get it. There he goes. They're just, they're waiting on that grill. <laughs> Two orders up. All right, so this works. We did use almost all the money in order to get it to work, and there is probably an easier way to do this. If you guys think you un you know the secret to making this work better, let me know in the comments down below. Yep, there we go. We got it. So we spent $49,000. We used 32 ingredients, and energy used 321. Mills delivered 10. Efficiency is 76% efficiency. So, uh, I mean, that's pretty good. Pretty good. What's the kitchen report? There are no kitchen events to show. Okay, so not bad. So if you guys think you know a better way that I could have solved that problem, tell me in the comments below so maybe I can improve it in, in future versions. Also, let me know if you guys... Do you like this game? Is this something that you would like to see me maybe play some more levels of? Uh, we'll probably do maybe a couple more levels on this and try to figure it out. Uh, in the meantime, though, I'm going to head out of here. So thank you so much for watching. Wherever you are in the world, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good night. See you in the next video, guys. What's up, everybody? Thank you for watching the video. If you haven't already, make sure you click that subscribe button down below and click on the bell to stay on top of all my new videos and live streaming events here on YouTube. I also want to give a huge shout out to all the names you see on the right for their support through donations, Patreon, and through Twitch subs. If you would like to join their ranks and you are able, 
You can do so by clicking on any of those links in the video description down below. No worries though, if you don't like giving away money like that, you can still support the channel by purchasing games or anything through Green Man Gaming, through Humble Bundle, or through Amazon by clicking on my links and making your purchase. A little bit of that goes towards me to support the channel. If you still can't get enough of me, you can always check me out live on twitch.tv and stay up to date with me on Twitter as well. Now that's going to be it, but I can't say thank you enough for all your support here on the channel. Wherever you guys are in the world, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good night. See you later.